Hello, today let's solve this problem. This problem is suggested by the audience, Philemon. This is a quadratic form problem in the linear algebra. We will use the eigenvalue and eigenvector method to solve it. In the last slide, we will make a plot to verify the result. So keep watching to the end. And let's get started. We can see this equation contains a cross term x, y. So we want to find the linear transformation. For example, to transform the x, y coordinate to the alpha beta coordinate. And in the alpha beta coordinate, this equation doesn't contain any cross terms. First, we take the quadratic terms only. And we write it into a matrix form. We define this matrix as a capital A. Next, we want to find the eigenvalue of this matrix. So we let the determinant equal 0. And we got this quadratic equation. Solve the roots and we got two eigenvalues. Next, we use the two eigenvalues to solve eigenvectors. From these two equations, we got two eigenvectors. I copy them here. From these two eigenvectors, we got the matrix P. Then we use matrix P to connect the xy coordinate and alpha beta coordinate. So we got these two equations for the coordinate transformation. Then we plug them into the original equation to replace x, y. After simplify it, we got the desired equation in alpha beta coordinate. So it's a parabola, and we are done for the question 1. Now let's find the equation for the axis of symmetry. From this parabola equation, we can easily find the axis of symmetry in the alpha beta coordinate. So alpha equals 3 is the axis of symmetry in the alpha beta coordinate. Next, we want to transform this equation back to the xy coordinate. So we plug in alpha equals 3 to above equations. And we got here. After eliminate the parameter beta, we got the equation for the axis of symmetry in the xy coordinate. Finally, let's make a plot to verify our result. Here is the plot for the parabola and axis of symmetry, so it confirms our result. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.